Hello Scorpios, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot and this is your reading for the week ahead. As always, if anything I say resonates or you feel it will in the future, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading. What's happening for the beautiful Scorpios this week? Okay, firstly you have Five of Pentacles, then the Ace of Pentacles. Then the Knight of Cups and the Seven of Cups. So as always, I'll talk you through these cards and then clarify them so we can get a little bit more out of them. But firstly, Five of Pentacles. You're starting off this week feeling a little bit on your own. Now, the thing about you, Scorpio, is other people would be a little bit like crying in the corner upset that they're on their own. You have a redemption arc or you have a way of enjoying being or finding a way to enjoy being in a position that isn't particularly ideal so whatever it is whether it be you feeling a little bit alone or feeling as if nobody understands you or like you don't have what you want to have or you feel it basically this is kind of a card of lack so for some reason you're feeling a little bit of lack However, Scorpio, you are the perfect candidate, the perfect sign, I guess, for this card because you're gonna need. When you feel this way, it's almost like you take it on as fuel. It's almost like um, you're feeling alone. Okay, cool. Then you decide. I'll do it by myself. I can do everything by myself. And it may be like hyper independence, it may be a coping mechanism or something, but it's just something where you are fueled by almost you're just feeling a little bit let down. A little bit let down at the start of the week. From whatever it may be, those around you or something, but and then you're going, Oh yeah, I forgot. I I don't let other people get to me and you're just taking it under your in stride you're just taking it on the chin and you're just going with the flow and you're succeeding whatever this is it could be um some of you this is to do with work it's like you thought you had someone that had your back you thought you had someone that was gonna um help you out or something and it turns out you're doing it all alone and you go i'll have to do it all alone and then you go oh, i get to do it all alone okay cool so i'm gonna get all the credit it's going to be all my success, not half and half. Cool. And you take it and you run with it, basically. It's going to be a good thing. Then you have Ace of Pentacles, which kind of makes sense. Because there is a new opportunity coming your way in work. Or um, a new level of income or increase in finances. Because Ace of Pentacles is new. And it's new to do with pentacles. So pentacles are anything that has physical value. Um, it's anything, basically it's a very grounding card because it's earth, but it's also something of value. Also I'm getting gold come through, so someone could pay you in gold or something, or give you gold as like a peace offering. I don't know why that's coming through, it's really specific. But uh, there's something about a new level to do with your work, but it's coming after a time of thinking you are doing something all alone. And maybe you did do it all alone, but now you're getting all the credit. And there's something really cool about a next phase. Others wouldn't have reached the phase you're reaching now, or about to reach, because they would have been still upset over the fact that they were left on their own to do something. I don't know if that makes sense. There's something where... It's like Scorpio is the transformation. Scorpio enjoys transformation and getting to transform and there is this sense of you really thriving in an environment where others would crumble, as dramatic as that sounds. Then you have Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is a very romantic card, very lovely card, so there could be a huge um, theme of romance or love or somebody kind of courting you in some way, it's a very old fashioned way to say it, but there's some sense of someone coming towards you with a cup of love to offer. And I won't know until I clarify it, what this is about. Uh, for a lot of you it's going to be different, some of you are in relationships, some of you are single, but there's definitely um, 
somebody having love to give you this week. Whether it be new love coming in, whether it be um, somebody you're already in a committed thing with, there's just something where somebody has something to offer you or give to you. And then you have Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups can be illusions, can be procrastinating, can be daydreaming, can be a lot of things. There's a lot of things is a very good way to put it because in the traditional tarot card there's like seven different cups with different things coming out of each one and so it's just kind of symbolizing all the different options and that could be you kind of daydreaming about all the different options of the way things could play out with someone or it could be you daydreaming about all the different options your career could play out next and you're trying to fantasize which thing you'd want, which way you'd want to live your life if this happens and this happens and there's just something where you're a little bit all over the place but in a good way. Um, maybe you're away with the fairies a little bit but um, at the same time some of you are keeping a real professional face so I don't know what it is you do for work obviously but you're managing to stay like keep a mask whilst you're very very I don't know you could have a very serious job but then on the inside you're really giddy and excited about something and you, you can't let that shine you've got to stay composed um but on the inside you're like ah i want to scream something from the rooftops i want to tell everybody but then you're like oh gotta stay composed gotta hold it in gotta keep it concealed um so that's interesting Clarifying the Five of Pentacles, you have Queen of Swords, so that's really cool. Queen of Swords can be quite blunt sometimes, but apart from being quite blunt, she's very intelligent, which makes sense as to why she's so blunt, because she just sees things the way they are, and she sees the world in very clear vision. She understands people, and she understands why people are the way they are, and then sometimes that can be frustrating, because... If you're around other people that aren't on the same wavelength or that are a little bit oblivious to the workings of the world, there's something with the Five of Pentacles where you're feeling a little bit alone because nobody's understanding where you're coming from or what you're meaning. And there's a huge energy of you not liking to be under misunderstood. So then you go out of your way to kind of explain your position or your thought process or why you are the way you are or something there's something you're trying to explain and you're going to realize it's either falling on deaf ears or it's just not quite ready to be heard by others yet and that's when you kind of go into this mode of working alone or working on something alone because you're just like well nobody's listening anyway i'll show them they're not listening to me they're taking it the wrong way they're taking it as an insult they're taking it as a fight it's not a fight i'll show them there's something where you're like my words aren't explaining it. How can I show them, basically? I've said that three times, but it's the point is, my words aren't explaining it, and I can't really show you, but if I could, I would. Like you're going to. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. The Hanged Man. There is something about seeing something from a different perspective. There's also like, hmm. like advocating for something you're making whether it be a charity or just making raising awareness towards something and with the hanged man and the ace of pentacles i'm really getting this feeling where you're just showing people and i already said this a second ago and i know i've said it but i have more more and more strongly you're showing people something that they're blind to or that they're not aware of and it's actually going to be seen and you're doing it in a different way or you're going away about it that hasn't been tried that is going to work there's a spider, sorry um clarifying the knight of cups you have wonder if he's going to run into view for you guys you'll see him on the wall oh he's camera shy, that spider honestly he stopped right out of frame no? Okay, anyways, you just got the tower card to clarify the Knight of Cups. Oh, can you see him now, maybe? He's going over the turtle. Um. 
You got a tower card to clarify the Knight of Cups, which means, like I said, you're really embracing transformation, but there's a huge transformation, very fast transformation around a Knight of Cups. So someone in your life offering you love, wanting to give you love, wanting to show you care and attention and affection is, there's a huge change coming in with them. So if they've not been acting correctly, they're now coming into your life correctly. And there's just something where they're, there's something causing a massive shift around this person. And if this is someone new, then they're just causing a shift because of their newness. Because of the new energy is uh, interacting with your life and it's just transforming your life as your, as your energy is going to transform theirs. There's a shift. There's a huge change someone's bringing in. Then you have the moon to clarify the seven of cups. So some of you are aware, um, heavy on manifestation or law of attraction or something, which is weird because the magician isn't here, but I really feel as if you know there's things occurring. You can feel them. You've asked for them or you're manifesting a specific thing to happen. And with the moon card and the seven of cups, you can't see it yet. You can't see it in the physical reality yet, but you can feel that it's happened or is happening. Whether that be people talking about you in rooms you're not in, whether that be opportunities coming around that you can't yet see, you can feel something has changed and you're right. And that's why that Seven of Cups is there because you're trying to kind of imagine what's being said. You're imagining what people are saying about you or you're imagining what, um, what rooms your name is being said in and what it's going to lead to and what success and what exciting um, opportunities are about to play out for you. And with the moon card, no one else really knows what's happening with you, but you know. You know there's more going on than meets the eye and you know there's things that you can't quite predict specifically, but there's a big shifts and changes. Hmm. I feel like there's something tied to someone romantically in your life there's something either it's like a friend of a friend it's really strange there's a weird connection here of um like a chain reaction or like contacts knowing people and there's someone you're connected to friend of a friend of a friend of a friend a friend's fishes cats dogs neighbors uncles friend is mentioning your name about something it's really strange it's pretty it's but it's a very good thing it's it's like um did you know scorpio scorpio is a very very good um cake maker they make amazing cakes and there's just something where you're like How? you told them that about me but you barely know my cakes and they're like no i've heard good things like there's something where i don't know i don't know how to explain it but there's a very good very good opportunity coming in thanks to word of mouth word of mouth basically um i'm gonna wrap your reading up here thank you so much for watching if anything i said resonated or you feel it will in the future please let me know by liking and subscribing and i'll see you next tuesday for tiny tall terror tuesdays